Two Sundays ago, many of us heard the Holy Gospel end with the phrase, When the devil had ended every temptation, he departed from Jesus until an opportune time. Jesus was tempted more than just those 40 days in the wilderness. Christ was tempted by Satan and all his demonic horde all the way to the cross. You and I are tempted all the time as well. Tempted to let your eyes wander to another test, quiz, or homework assignment and steal an answer here or there. Tempted to watch just one more video on TikTok or YouTube rather than doing the chores your mother asked you to do. Tempted to go just a bit further with your boyfriend or girlfriend than God commands in the Sixth Commandment. Temptations here, temptations there, temptations in more places than you dare eat green eggs and ham. Temptations everywhere. This past Sunday, many of you heard about a group of Pharisees who came to Jesus with, with what sounded like an innocent warning for Jesus to flee from Herod who wanted to kill him. Jesus may have been tempted to run away, but that would have been to give in to and ignore the reason he came, to die for you. Twice in the Holy Gospel, according to St. Luke, in the 13th chapter, Jesus is going to speak about today, tomorrow, and the following day, or the third day. It's cryptic language from Jesus that's there to point you to the cross. Jesus knew that it was going to take his being killed, not by Herod away from Jerusalem, but in Jerusalem, on order from Pilate to save you. So to Jerusalem he would go. Amidst the cries of, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Jesus enters into Jerusalem to die for you. There on Good Friday, as Jesus hung on the cross, finishing his course, he once again was tempted by Satan to come down from the cross, to end his suffering, and then assure that you would be condemned to hell forever. But just as Satan filled in the wilderness, so he also failed at the cross. Jesus remained on his cross to speak your absolution. Father, forgive them, and it is finished. Then on the morrow, Jesus lay buried to rest on the seventh day from all the work that he had done. And the following day, the third day, he finished his course as he left death in the grave behind, empty, securing your eternal salvation. Because of those three days, you are saved. You've been washed in Jesus. You've been absolved by Jesus. You've been fed with Jesus. You're a citizen of heaven. You are a Holy Spirit empowered to stand firm in the Lord Jesus and resist temptation. Those horrible temptations will keep coming all the days of this earthly life, always looking for an opportune time. But because of Jesus' great three days, you are forgiven. You are a citizen of heaven, awaiting the day when Jesus will come to bring you to your eternal home. Your temptation and sin will stop, and you will dwell with Jesus forever. Did we do good? Is that, is that okay? If, if you liked that, hit the button that says that you like that. Maybe even subscribe to see more of these. Even give. Help us fund this mission of making known the gifts of Christ Jesus to youth and young adults. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.